The verdict, not guilty of double murder for Aaron Hernandez and the families of the victims' tears at the end of an emotional trial. It took six days of deliberations for that jury to decide. Good evening. I'm Ben Simino. And I'm Emily Reamer in for Maria. Tonight, emotions still running high. News Center 5, John Atwater has the story live in Boston. John? Emily, the victims in this case were killed five years ago at the intersection just behind us here. Prosecutors say the evidence pointed to Aaron Hernandez, but they could not prove it in court. You find the defendant not guilty or guilty of defense as charged? Not guilty. Aaron Hernandez overcome with uncharacteristic emotion as a jury clears the former Pat star of murder. The mother of his child breaking down in relief as devastated family members of the victims dashed from the courtroom. It was a stunning conclusion to a trial that relied largely on the account of a convicted criminal who was given immunity to testify against Hernandez. Having an immunized witness is always difficult, but sometimes you have no choice. The defense chipped away at Alexander Bradley's credibility, accusing him of pulling the trigger and killing Sefiro Furtado and Daniel De Abreu in the South End five years ago. What we always do is we follow the evidence where it leads us. And in this case, it led us inescapably to Aaron Hernandez. Prosecutors may have felt the evidence was strong, but it wasn't enough to convince the jury. We based our decision on the evidence presented and the law. Guilty of the offense is charged. The only conviction in the case came on an illegal gun charge. Hernandez's defense team saying the case was weak from the beginning. Mr. Hernandez was wrongly accused of those crimes. That was a tragedy. And prosecutors still tonight believe that Aaron Hernandez pulled the trigger, raising the prospect that no one will ever be held accountable for these two murders. We're live in the South End tonight. John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.